Hi everyone, my name is James Niehaus from Funnel Envy, and today I'm going to talk to you about multi-step interactive experiences and going beyond the form. So this is the third video in a series that we focus specifically on a technique we call you know, multi-step interactive experiences. In the first two videos we talked about how to use this on, on B2B forms to really drive massive improvements in conversion rates. And today we're going to talk about how to use the same technique on other parts of your site. Uh, for those who don't know Funnel Envy, uh, we work with demanded marketers to help them maximize website revenues. So let's talk about going beyond the form. So um, on this video, we will cover um, you know, what are multi-step experiences. We'll do a quick recap of that. We'll talk about you know, how and why they work. And then we'll talk about, you know, for this video, how they can work in other parts of your site, and also five popular ways you can leverage this, this technique on your site today. So you know, the, you know, if you don't have, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, um, we, there's two earlier videos in the series. Where we've really focused on how to drive higher conversion rates on forms. Um, so you can check out those videos on our blog um, and then get a quick you know, recap or background on, on the kind of the overall strategy. Um, but for this, the quick refresher, you know, here's just some examples of you know, past client interactive, interactive experiences. So you know, this should be self-explanatory, but as you see here, all we're doing is taking your typical static B2B form, you know, breaking it up into interactive steps and leading with intent questions that make it easier for the user to raise their hand, provide you information, commit to the process, and convert at higher rates. And when we say convert at higher rates, we do mean higher rates. So here's just some examples of you know, recent conversion lists we've seen on you know, client forms just by moving from static forms to multi-step experiences. So as you see here, it's definitely pretty powerful and effective. And this is also the reason why we kind of then explored using this technique on other parts of the site. But when it comes to forms, you know, and the form technique in general, um, some key takeaways, you know, a couple that I'll kind of recap. And again, we go into much more depth on, on the earlier videos, so just check them out if you haven't had a chance. But you know, what you want to do is lead with easy intent questions. So what do most forms on static, you know, B2B sites do? Let me ask your first name, last name, email address, right? I call those what's in it for them questions, what the company needs in order to kind of process that lead. Um, with the multi-step form experiences, you usually want to ideally lead with intent questions that's more about what's in it for them. You know, what features do they care about? You know, how big is their company? What are they looking to do? You know, what's their role? But the whole idea here is that asking them easy to answer intent questions that help, you know, guide them down the path towards, you know, finding a better outcome or helping you better guide them down to the right solution. I know, so that's, you know, the first takeaway. The second takeaway is also, you know, ideally ask them a couple of those questions first. Because uh, you want to do is make it easy for them to get started, continue, and create that momentum and commitment to completing that process. And that's how we get the higher form conversion rates. Does that make sense, hopefully? Uh, and then the nice part about this technique is that you then layer on additional strategies. And this is where it gets even more powerful. So, you know, on the left, you see an example where we actually start personalizing step two and step three of the form experiences based on what they provided as an answer in step one. So this is where you can get a little more targeted and personalized. Or on the right is a good example where you can use you know, their information to then potentially route them to a different funnel or flow. In the example there, you, they're using company name um, based on the email address to decide whether they should send them to a scheduler like you see there, or to just give them the rest of the regular form. So this is where you can potentially provide custom experiences based on you know, company size, or target account, or their role or what they're looking to do. But this allows you to then go from a one-size-fits-all static experience to providing smarter, routed experiences that align to your personalization and ABM strategies. So you can see there's a nice fit between the two. Um, but for today, what we're gonna focus more on is how to take this strategy and tech techniques and apply them throughout the rest of your site. Um, so they're going beyond the form. So I mainly wanna focus on five key areas of the site. Um, or techniques. So one is, you know, on the home page. Um, the idea there is here is to actually start that funnel on the home page. So rather than having click to get to a form and, and change that to multi-step, provide a multi-step experience starting from the home page. I'll show some examples of that. Um, or you can use the home page strategy and instead of taking them to a form flow, guide and route those users based on their intent to a better page or a better flow. Um, thirdly, on the product pages, a, a nice technique is to really use this strategy to help them find the right solution. 
and if you carry that idea over to finding the right you know options then the plans and pricing page is also another great place to use it to help them find the right pack pricing package or combination and then lastly we'll talk about how to still you know apply quizzes and calculators throughout the experience to really you know improve their ability to find insights that are aligned to what they're looking for so starting this all off um, starting the funnel on the home page so for most you know b2b sites the home page is typically a static billboard that tries to communicate one message to a broad and diverse set of visitors so recognizing that you're probably not going to align exactly to what that user's intent is the idea here is that you actually use the home page real estate to engage the visitor and in this case engagement means trying to get them to raise their hand express intent and get started with you and, and go down a certain conversion funnel right at the home page so whether you start interacting them with them with you know engaging questions on the left you see examples there or if they click on a certain action present out um, that type of experience but the whole idea here is that rather than guess at what their intent is or what their you know how they want to get started give them some options to make it easy for them to kind of start exploring and ideally without even knowing go start kicking off that conversion funnel from the home page so we've seen good positive improvements from just taking this technique and applying them in certain places um, on the home page and also the home page doesn't, doesn't have to always be about selling from the get from the get-go some of you might care about that but for others it might be more about you know especially if you have a larger set of portfolios or products or solutions um, like an example here you know you're using intent questions like you know their company size their interest their role to just take them to a, the right page or starting point on your site so again rather than having them try to figure out your navigation or try to figure out from all your products what makes sense to them here you start asking them you know easy to answer intent questions to get them to hopefully tell you enough that you can then guide them to the next best page that would make sense given what they told you so the here is we're trying to help them by skipping steps and helping them land the right page so you can cut down on the cycles to kind of get to what they to get them to where they want to go so this is more about routing and navigation but again the whole benefit of these techniques is that we're engaging them from the get-go we're not forcing them to kind of you know decide for themselves try to find the right information and leave it up to chance that they find the right place to go and this same strategy makes a lot of sense on product pages so this is an exa example of one of our clients one on the left you see their traditional static page um, as you see there you know it's your typical solution type page where you provide a lot of content and give them you know their choices but with through a lot of text and, and kind of diagramming um, on the right it's taking that same content and packaging up into interactive questions to make it easy for them to kind of but again find what they're looking for raise their hand express their intent or interest and you help navigate them to the option that makes the most sense so we saw some very positive engagement conversion metrics um, when we did this technique on, on, on product pages like in this example here but the whole idea here is you're tr trying to provide that educated guided hand that helps them find better what they're looking for based on what they told you so in this case you're being helpful helping them complete their job better and more in a more timely fashion and of course this makes sense on your product and pricing pages um, so when you have packages and plans you know most b2b sites have your typical good better best here are three or four plans whether it be based on you know company size or number of seats needed or whether it be based on certain features that's your typical layout that we're all used to so we're not saying you have to move away from that but in these examples here you know they still show those those you know those tables of plans but in both examples here they give options where if you want to specify your interests or what you're looking to do or maybe talk through a questionnaire about you know who you are and what you're looking for they can then narrow down the plan packages to fit what you provided them as far as intent or, or profile so the whole idea here, idea here is that when you have a little bit more complex set of packages and, and pricing plans um, rather than have them guess or maybe you know choose incorrectly or maybe just waste the time combing through all of this you give them an easier path by which they just simply specify what is their key you know intent profile questions and use that information to help narrow and guide them down to the right package or pricing plan that works for them again you know your product more, more than anyone else you've seen success of your products and, and, and packages on a variety of clients across your industries this is all about using that intelligence to better guide new visitors 
who first come to your site, come to your pricing page, and help them find a, a solution that fits their needs and best matches their profile. Because you want them to be successful, and this is your chance to guide them down that path in a more you know, direct way, and both sides will win in the end. And lastly, we shouldn't forget the fact that, you know, for most B2B sites, they do have interactive experiences typically in things like, you know, your ROI calculators, your organizational assessments, your company benchmarking, your various quizzes, right? So, you know, by all means, you know, these are great options and techniques. We encourage you to keep using them. Um, so, um, in the end, we're just fans of anything that provides that interactivity. We've seen from years and years of testing that whenever you can give the visitor a chance to interact, raise their hand, um, you make it easy for them to get started, you reduce the complexity of, 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 that, of that visit by allowing them to be guided down the right path, and you actually end up having more control over where they go through their journey, which is what we really want to do. Ideally, if we had a choice, we'd want to guide each visitor down the right journey for them. Since we can't really predict who they are and what they want, we think interactive experiences are the best way to meet in the middle and provide them a set of choices that allow them to kind of really narrow down to their best options based on what their profile is and based on what their, their intent is. So it's really a win-win for both sides. Now, um, quick, quick takeaways. Again, in general, multi-step experiences, especially on the forums, work great as a conversion tactic. So, you know, if you haven't, you know, figured it out yet, we are very bullish on that. Um, and again, it also will work on, you know, in combination with your more advanced ABM and presentation strategies. So this is a great example where your conversion techniques and your strategic techniques should really work well together because they really complement each other very well. And then lastly, we just went through a couple minutes ago, you know, they really work well in a couple of key places like your homepage, your product pages, your pricing packages, pricing and packaging pages, as well as your traditional quizzes and calculators. So really want to say here, you want to advocate for is, you know, try it out, explore this on your site. You really won't regret it. It's just, again, better experiences for all. And then um, lastly, like I said, if you haven't had a chance yet, go visit our site. Um, we have a couple other videos that talk a little more in depth about the strategy, especially as it relates to forms and personalization in ABM. So check it out if you haven't had, check it out if you haven't had a chance yet. And then lastly, if you have any questions, you know, obviously just drop me an email. And lastly, you know, visit our site, but you know, also you know, visit our quiz page to learn more about whether you know, what you've heard about here and how we can help clients may be a good fit for you. Um, so with that, uh, thank you for your time and um, good luck with multi-step experiences.